Sir, people are no longer troubled by the longer slogans. Group prayers have strengthened our community. Small candles keep appearing under the slogans. People leave them when they pray for the souls of the Londoners. Yeah! Those freaking heretics, we must purge the heretics from our community. Completely. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Frostpunk. I'm your host, the Bergman Otis Falcon. Today should be release day for the game, so I think things are going pretty good. Now, the big thing that concerns me is on day 21, we're about to get that two temperature drop. So here's what I propose we do to start off with. Let's go into, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and start adding a couple more Hunter's Huts because we have three of people and we have a ton of wood as we can see right now, right? So let's go to food, Hunter's Hut, and we'll move you at least for now over here. I can even go further back with you guys, but that's going to destroy a couple of resources. Probably even set you over here, maybe even over here. Let's do Hunter's Hut here, and Hunter's Hut back through here. And we obviously need a couple of streets for that, so let's do you through that, you through that, okay? I'm going to be destroying this one, and probably that one, and moving them back afterwards. I don't want to cut them off completely, because we have a lot more people now, so we do need food. So that's step number one. Step number two is going to be probably the coal dumper if we could afford another one right now. So let's go to resources. Let's see. We have the steel coal dumper. 35 wood, 25 steel. I need steel for some of the researches coming up, but I think we also need coal. So you know what? I'm going to do like this coal dumper roughly over here. And then we'll go ahead and make the street for it through that. Now, these coal dumpers require four gathering houses. I'm not sure, like, these two gathering houses over here do not reach the one I just placed down at the moment, as you can see. The radius ends right there. So what happens if we move these two and put them over here instead? Because then the radius will be able to hit all two of these. I'm not sure we could do four for two of them, or if it's, like, four for each one individually. Because it's the, it seems to, like, spell it out like it's individually. But I'm going to try it out this way first. So let's go into Resource, Deposit, or Gathering Post anyway, which requires 5 steel. Again, we're low on that, but I think we have to do it anyway. So we'll place that like so. And then we'll have this street through that. And we might even actually add a street while we're added through here as well, just for easier walking. And then we'll deconstruct these two once these are up and running. So right now, let's go ahead and unpause and go with this here going forward. Again, we have... Roughly a day and a couple more hours extra. I also want to probably go into 24 hour for the research so we can speed up the entire generator upkeep that I want to do. The problem is that I could do that, but with the lack of steel, it's probably best for us to go into 24 hours once we have the required steel to open up the researches I want to do. So let's see here. At the moment, we got 43 unemployed workers, 32 engineers, 22 kids, and the automatons over there just kind of pumping away still, right? And we have 17 people who are homeless as well. I'm going to wait right now for a bit and just kind of get our steel supply up. 17 people are homeless. We also have a couple more people still walking over here as well. So we're going to have to worry a lot about housing people in this weather coming up right now. You arrived to the city with 255 wood. We're completely full up on wood, which is the only downside right now. What's the what's the problem over here? Storage near capacity. Street is under construction. Uh, yeah. I know we're kind of very close to that, but I can't add another resource depot, I don't think. So we're going to have to wait until you guys are done. As a matter of fact, let's have you guys start dismantling those two. Because that was originally my plan anyway. So let's see if this works out. Dismantle those while you're at it. And you just got back home. We have the people over here walking over there. We can set up an outpost depot. I still have to research outpost depot so we could actually gather wood from here. And whatever we're going to unlock over here as well going forward. So you're going to just hang out for a while because we still have to get to the village. Oh, you know what I could do? Even though he's headed over here, that's going to probably unlock something else. So what I could do is send this party off to here as well. Just to kind of get him on the road. And once we unlock other ones, we can just have him jump from there, right? I think that's a good idea. So here is the end of the day. We have 15 people who are sick, food rations. Let's see about the food rations here going forward. Uh, you're still building and building. I want to get rid of this as soon as possible as well. I won't do that until these are built, though. So let's go into fast forward right now. And at this point, we kind of have to wait a little bit here. Just to make sure these things get built. Illnesses are falling, which is great. Hunter sets available. Let's go into adding 10 people to work on that one. And then, let's see here. Here's a cold thumper that we built. Workers... 
workers and ooh, <laughs> falling a little bit low on workers now. But uh, let's do let's do a couple of engineers for that one for now. Guys, remind me if I need engineers, Falcon, you have a couple of them in the gathering post over here. That's gonna be your task for going us for going forward. Remind me, Falcon, you got some engineers out there in case I need them. So we have now arrived to the fishing village. Perfect. And we'll explore over here for a couple of steam cores, apparently. No place for the week. This fishing village used to supply Tesla City with food. Searching it, we found the letter. Mike, don't return to the city. Tesla is a madman. Wow. Tesla's a madman. He cast out all the cripples, all the sick, Jerry's parents, and old Beth are among them. There will be blood. That's for sure. And soon. That's a really great movie, by the way. Classic. Um... We could leave the city intact for two cores, and we could use this as another outsource, so that'll be probably like a food outsource for us in the future. So you know what? I'm gonna leave that one alone. And now we could gather food from here once we unlock the outpost depot. So with this available, you have two steam cores, let's head off to Tesla City itself, and then we have the other party still heading up there, and hopefully you unlock a couple more places for us to check out. Right now we got nobody sick, only one person really, so that's fairly good. Uh, we're in overtime. I kind of want to like go into like overtime for maybe even... What if we go into overtime for the steel? Like we know the, the machine is going to work no no matter what. But what we could do is like maybe have the steam steelworks work overtime at least for the day before it becomes really cold. It'll be 24 hours just in the dawn really. It's going to piss them off a little bit. But you know what? Let's do it. This can tend my rice, but the extra steel in our possession would be very useful, especially for making the bunkhouse upgrades down here. And also a couple of the houses we'll have to make on the outside, too. Okay, so now they'll be working 24 hours over here, assuming they get, get, get your asses over here. I know you don't like it, but you gotta work. Okay, and we have an event. Candles for the Wicked. Sir, people are no longer troubled by the longer slogans. Group prayers have strengthened our community. Small candles keep appearing under the slogans. People leave them when they pray for the souls of the Londoners. Yeah! Those freaking heretics! We must purge the heretics from our community. Completely. And your problem is that we are storage near capacity, which is wood. Ugh. Do you think we should... I don't... I don't think we need wood right now, so much of the fact that I feel like I could leave that available like as in let's not even have another one be built because if i make another storage deep it's going to cost me some steel and we do need the steel for the research i want to unlock so for now let's just go forward and there they go they're working over there what's the problem now people regain hope for the first time the londoners have failed to persuade anyone to abandon our city and to flee london people are recovering from their shock of the news at winter home and starting to hope for the future yeah so the Londoners are trying to recruit more people because obviously they're they're these megalomaniacs who feel like I don't do a good job and they want to take all the people with them. But they're failing now in the recruitment of their scumbags anymore. So if anything, we could also drop dirty down below, I've heard. Um, that probably won't go down until after the storm, because right now we have a big task ahead of us. And I was about to go to 24 hours for the research, which we might do that, but right now they're about to go back to work in an hour. So let's ignore that. They're back to work now. We have a pretty decent amount of steel, I would say. So, let's do this as well we're at it. Um, scouts have reached Tesla City. We're very low on workers, which I do need for... We have coal back here as well, do we? Let's have engineers work that. I kinda wanna get some freed up people. Workers so we can build in case we have to build which we do have to build more than likely um, Here's what I'll do. I Know it's probably not a popular decision among these guys, but Let's go ahead and drop workers from here. I'm gonna have kids come out here for now They might not like that, but I do want to have a couple of extra free workers to build stuff for us going forward so we'll do that and Let's go ahead and start moving a couple more of these hunters huts were added. So let's do at least one more for food Hunter's HUD. Uh, we'll place you back over through here. We need a street for you, so we'll do something like... That is fine and acceptable. Let's go ahead and uh, dismantle that one, and we'll place something right there. Probably a bunkhouse, more than likely. And, oh yeah, this has to go. The beacon? This could be anywhere on the map, because they're normally never here. So building this so close to the center was a bad idea from the start. So I think it's time for us to move it away. I'm not sure if I can build a second one right now, or do I have to... Let's see, where's the beacon at? 
That one has to be destroyed before I can build it somewhere else. So let's go into dismantling this one too. This is the reason why I want to have a couple of extra workers right now, because we have a big task ahead of us here. And research, you guys need to speed this up a little bit more because I do need to get research. There it is. Pause, pause, pause. So generator power upgrade two. Perfect. But right now, I think the big goal is going to be number five. So 150 and 100 steel. Make it happen. We're down to 49 steel now. And let's start going into not the houses just yet, but let's start upgrading the tents into bunkhouses at the very least. Because I know once the cold hits, we're going to need the bunkhouses easily. So let's see. Here we have a lot of them all around this area here. There's also a couple of extra spots over here. I'm not sure if it's enough to fit something, but had I moved stuff around... I oh, know we have to eventually do a little bit of reorganization when it comes to our city. That's all I can afford right now. Steel workers, continue pumping that steel into my my soul. And by soul, I do mean my deposit area because I do need it. We'll send another bunkhouse right over there. Okay. Fairly good. The beacon has now been destroyed, which is perfect. Let's go ahead and set that up. I believe the, the people who are out scouting are still out there doing their thing. It's not really a big deal. We need 35 steel for this, so let's hold up on the houses and let's get the beacon up and running. There it is. We have the steel now. So the beacon could be anywhere on the map I did mention. So I don't want to destroy any sort of supplies, so it's got to be somewhere where it's rather barren. So somewhere back over here is not a bad idea for me. And we'll make the street and go down through all of that. And now we have an empty spot right here, which we use for a bunkhouse or maybe even a regular house when it gets cold. Should I build that now? I could build that now, I guess. And actually, no, no. Our steel's too low for that. Again, right now, the big deal that we're kind of dealing with is the fact that we do need steel. I'm hoping those extra 24 hours will kind of um, mitigate that to some degree. So this hunter's now available. Let's go ahead and add 10 more workers into that. Bunkhouse is being upgraded. Okay. Aha! Food for the hungry. Sir, our fate keepers have found someone's illegal stash of food. It's quite big, so they plan to distribute it amongst people in need. But perhaps you like to be used in another way. So, hope will rise, but the hungry will be fed or added to the stockpile. It would give us 100 food ration, but you know what? The extra hunter set that we built, I think that's really good enough. So, let's go ahead and just get that free hope rise right here. Once again, to deter people joining the Londoners going forward. I like my automaton just hanging out over there. Careful, buddy. You almost stepped on a human. You don't want to crush any humans, okay? I don't want them to get the wrong idea about you guys running around over here and just crushing people left and right. And the beacon of others being built too. And we have level 5 almost unlocked. So what's your problem now? Your problem is that storage near capacity, coal, huh? Okay. We have a little bit of coal. I would have, I mean steel. I would prefer that for a couple of houses. But if we're producing a lot of extra coal... We need to store it for the winter, because right now we're a couple of hours away from that drop, and that worries me a lot. So let's go to resources, let's go into... I could wait, because I know that once the cold hits, we're going to have to power up the generator. As a matter of fact, are you powered up now? I don't think we need level 3 just yet, do we? At least we could save it for a couple of extra hours. What happens if I go to number 2? I guess we have to wait for it to actually drop. But I don't feel like we need it. We're going to need it pretty soon once it goes into the next level. But I think we could conserve a little bit of coal meanwhile. And let's go into resource depot 20 steel. That hurts a lot, but so be it. Um, and we have a lot of our resource depots out here. So we'll do that through that side and then walk it along through that. Okay. I mean, I'd rather be in a situation where I can hold all the stuff that, I, that I'm producing rather than like not have it, you know? So the fact that we've kind of capped off... It's a good sign. And level 5 has been unlocked now. And the beacon, once you unlock, or once you're done being built, we'll be able to go back to my people out there. So now that we have this 80 steel, you see what I mean? So we do need a bit more steel first. And the problem is that we're going to also need steel for the houses. So it's a two-pronged effect here. And this is probably where I'm going to say we go into the 24 hours for research. Because once we have the steel that we do need, we're going to need them to research over and over. So let's go into 24 hours. This might piss off some people, but so be it. It raised this content quite a bit. It's okay. I expect that to happen. Um, That was quite of a big hit. Do we do a second one or just one? How much would a second one be for this content? Mm, just about the same amount twice. Okay. I could live with that. 
I will live with that. So we have two research stations going on, at least for now. And once we have enough steel, we'll research the range. Now, Book of Laws. Let's come in here and let's see what we got available. Uh, we have the temple. Uh, you will have to build a temple. Hope will rise. This content will occasionally fall slightly. Let's do the temple. Unlock that. The temple will be erected. <laughs> yeah, it will. And let's see here. Yeah, that's fine. Let's just let us conserve a little bit of coal, or at least a little bit of coal meanwhile. Turn this off, and... Construction, we need to get up to 80. You're waiting over there. So, you're a Tesla city is going to explore the city of modern... Modern technology. Able minds and bodies will prevail over the cold. Read the slogan over the entrance of Tesla city. A central tall tower shines with the blue glow of electric discharges which form a protective dome over the town. But something went wrong here. There are charred bodies lying in the streets and the stench of burned flesh taints the air. We saw a lightning struck from the tower, hitting a building and leaving a gash in its roof. We could risk entering, or just stay away from the city. Let's risk it. We've, we've seen a thing or two in our lives, but nothing has ever frightened us as much as blasted lightning. Until we figured out how to switch it off, that is. Now we'll be able to establish an outpost over here. Oh, so we have another outpost for... Oh, for steam cores! Not bad at all. So with this done, let's go over to the Dreadnought Landing, and you're still on your way over there. Cool. So hopefully we'll unlock a couple more spots for you to also get in on the scouting as well. That's my resource depot over there. I know it's a lot of stuff that's kind of like pause at the moment, but we just need to make room for it. And we also need that 80 freaking steel. There it is. Pause. And technology. Let's unlock the range upgrade now. And you guys working 24 hours? Keep at it. I should have probably waited for the 24 hours until we actually had the steel. Because they've been waiting for a couple of hours, but so be it. Alrighty, and steel still going back up. And coal. Let's give you the coal deposit over there. There they go. Back up and running again. Very good. We have one person who's hungry, which is kind of weird because we have a lot of food rations right now too, so... Not sure what that's about. Now, I could have built that temple, but I'm going to wait off on that and just go with the houses instead. And speaking of houses, don't we have like another tent over here that we do? Bunkhouse! And we also have more people coming in, which we'll also need steel for. So there's definitely a lot of things we have to do. Now, do you have your passives not yet available unlock? Fade Keepers, not yet available as well. Seven people who are sick. We could drop some rations right now, I would say. So patience, nobody over here. Four hours. Eh, it's free time, so by the time you are able to work again, you'll be done, so... We didn't even drop any food there. Same with that one. So where are the other sick people at? Three, six, five, five, and six. I would give you food, but you know what? By the time it's daytime time for work, you'll be cured up. So that'll be like a waste of rations. We'll hold off on that. And here comes the weather drop, which I'm so worried about. Alright, we're up to 43 steel now. We need at least two houses for now, and then for the people we're going to show up eventually. So, I could build, build these now. I could do a bunkhouse right over here. We do know this bunkhouse is fine. But you know what? Before we build, I'm going to wait till that temperature drop hits so I can kind of figure out if I need a house or a bunkhouse afterwards. For now, let's just keep at it. We're also going to unlock this generator range upgrade too, which I'm very happy about. And you've landed in a dreadnought. So that's over here. Okay, let's do this one first because over here that's going to probably open up more spots for us to check out. Light to the south. We found a piece of whole plate bolter to a boulder. It's engraved with the following inscription in the year 1888. The American expedition aboard Hephaestus landed here in search of a haven from the global glaciation. May God preserve the souls of our fellow countrymen who perished on the way aboard our sister ship Prometheus. And we have discovered the research station and the ice corridor. So now the other party could jump to another one of those. We find 127 steel, one core, and ooh, wood. I, I'm really excited about this steel so much that I might want to call you back now. So we have the steel for the research we need. Yeah, you know what? Come back home. And luckily for us, we have this guy over here waiting. So now you're going to jump over to... Let's go to the ice corridor first. There we go. And we have the extra people coming in about a day and seven hours, too. And we're about to get hit really hard with this temperature, too, boils. You ready for this? Eight people sick. And it's going to be even worse once this temperature drop hits, too. Alrighty. And here's the range upgrade, too. 
perfect. Pause it. Let's go into the next thing we have to build. Or at least upgrade. So we have power upgrade 3. Which would be 80 steel. We have 67. Do I hold off or not? If I hold off, we can't, um, we can build the houses. For the 17 people who will be homeless during this weather. If not, well, they'll be freezing for a while. And here it is. Here's the cold. Discontent rose as well. Yeah, that's to be expected. And look at that. Everything's going off now because it's way too cold for us to deal with. Oh, <laughs> alrighty. Well, we have no choice but to... We need to get up to the infirmary, which does have some insulation to it. So we need to get to that one at some point. Um, for now, though, we have to turn that heater on. Let's go up to steam level 3. And we'll see how that treats us right now going forward when it comes to the cold. Right now, it's a matter of just surviving this really harsh winter. It's only going to be here for a day, two days rough. So we just have to weather it, literally. This content's going back up. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's, it's cold. What can I tell you guys? It's cold. I don't control the temperature. So... 99. Good. Let's do the power upgrade as well. We're at it. 120 and 80. There it is. So now, as long as those get built, or at least completed, which should be in a couple of hours, we'll have also another power upgrade as well. How's everything over here looking pretty good? Or supplies are looking really good when it comes to food. Uh-oh, something happened. Oh, no, no, no. Losing a limb. One of the f one of her people has had to undergo an amputation working in the freezing cold left them with such severe frostbite that there has there was no other choice. Um, that's the people working the coal mine. And to be honest with you, that's something we should probably negate away from now. Just because it's going to be way too cold and there's obviously no heating right there, right? It's a regular coal pile. So if we turn this on... That is really, really cold. You see that coal pile freezing? That's bad. That's the reason why we had that issue. So had I remembered to turn that off or at least remove people from there, we wouldn't have that problem. But I forgot about it, which is what happens to me on occasion. Um, let's see. Low risk, very cold. We got to turn on the workshops too. Um, let's see. Do we have enough coal, kind of? Luckily for us, we do have the, the amputee building thing over here. Um, I'm gonna have to turn you on for a while. And you're gonna have to give me at least one of these here. Just one. So, the prosthesis is gonna require 10 steel. Give me one, drop those engineers in that one. Just to get that person up and running. I don't want them to commit suicide when it's freezing cold out here. And then you guys, I'm sorry to say, it is time to be freed up because it's way too cold for you to be harvesting on your own, so... That coal pile, for now, is gonna be Gonski. And we'll see how it plays out. Okay. Oh yeah, um, since we can now build over here, and we know it's a bunkhouse, let's build that bunkhouse. And we could probably do another one over here, although this has to be a house, not unlikely, yeah. So we'll do... house... through here. Oh, we can do another house next to it too? Perfect. Let's get it closer to the... the station for the buffs though, the, the prayer house, so we get that little extra boost to the happiness. This content's pretty high, but I'm pretty sure we could definitely deal with it. Alrighty, let's go forward. It's telling me we have 23 hours of coal left only, huh? Yeah, I know, I know. But luckily, it's only here for two days. What's your problem? Um, so you made what we needed to bait, right? So, where's that person? They're, they're probably off to the house somewhere to get... ...alone in this world. Low risk. Going to get a... Oh, he's going to get a prosthesis right now. Perfect. So, if that's already available, then you guys... ...turn this off. Turn it off. Nobody here. There you go. Okay. Alright. You see, our food's looking pretty good. It's mostly a matter of coal now. Can we deal with the cold for these next two days? We have range 4, steam level 3. We're about to get steam level 4 too, so that's going to help out a little bit. And there it is. Steam level 4 is now unlocked. Alright. Oh boy. 19 hours left. That's going to go up to 4, which is indeed going to be a problem. Because that's going to be even more coal. But, um, so be it. Since we have wood... Here's a radical idea. Since we have wood... Giggity giggity. How about steel sawmill for now goes away? We have a full stock of supply, we don't really need too much wood at the moment, I don't think. So how about we say none working over here. Turn this off. And then, none working over here. Turn this off, and... For yourselves off, off, and... Offline for now. At least until this weather goes away and we can build this coal supply back up. 
I think that's a really splendid idea on my part. And technology tree. So with this unlocked now, what do we do? Um, but also generator efficiency. I think we've been kind of like putting this on for a while. I do want to get the the outside posts for the supplies in the world. But I think we need to start conserving some coal. So let's get the efficiency upgrade. And there it is. All right, guys. Discontent's dropping a little teeny tiny bit. Little teeny tiny bit. Oh, we should have the buffs now too, right? Raise hope. 29 Londoners, we dropped one. Ha ha ha. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for the next episode. I will catch you next time.